Hi, everyone. Thank you for attending our talk, TikTok Story, How to Manage a Thousand Applications on Edge with Argo CD. In today's talk, we'll do a case study on how TikTok is managing 3,000 applications across 100 global edge clusters with Argo CD. And we'll discuss some considerations, tips, and techniques for using Argo CD to manage cluster applications on the edge. So before we start, some quick introductions. My name is Jesse Suen, and I am an Argo project lead and co-founder and CTO of Acuity.io, which provides application delivery solutions powered by Argo. Speaking with me today is Ching Kun Lee, and I'll let him introduce himself. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, my name is Ching Kun Lee, Tech Lead Manager of Edge Platform Team at TikTok. We use Kubernetes and cloud native technologies to manage TikTok's on-prem edge clusters and help developers deploy and manage applications on the edge. This is the overview of TikTok's edge cluster. We have around 100 edge clusters distributed around the world serving TikTok edge services, such as video saving cache, live streaming, gaming, and so on. The size of our edge cluster varies from 10 to 60 nodes uh, on each edge. Those are powerful server nodes with currently 96 CPU cores and 256 gig of memory for each node. We also have the data center that can talk to all of those edge clusters. The data center functions as both the management control plane as well as the service data plane for those edge clusters and the edge services. For example, we have the uh, Argo CD that runs in the data center to deploy edge services to those edge clusters. Talking about edge cluster deployment, this is the high-level overview and the architecture of our deployment infrastructure. So each of our edge cluster is a standalone Kubernetes cluster. They talk to the data center where we have Argo CD and the Git repo uh, to manage the uh, deployment for the edge services using GitOps. So our developers will push their Kubernetes configuration for the edge services to the Git repository. And uh, the central Argo CD controller will pull those configuration from the Git repository to sync and uh, deploy them to the specified edge clusters. For the deployment of all edge services, they actually all follow the same pattern. Usually an edge service is deployed to many edge clusters. And the service functionality and the behavior of this edge service on all edge clusters are very similar or the same. For example, uh, for the video saving cache service, when deployed to all the edge clusters, they all serve the same uh, saving functionality for the local users. As a result, the Kubernetes configuration of the edge service will also follow the same pattern, which is the deployment of an edge service on all edge clusters will share a large portion of common configurations. And at the same time, there are also a small portion of cluster-specific configurations. For example, the replica count, resource quota, IP address, etc., might be configured differently uh, on different edge clusters for the same edge service. This is because different edge clusters may have different number of server nodes and different IP address range. Here is an example of the configuration of such deployment pattern. In this example, we use the uh, sample engine service deployed to three edge clusters. And we can see uh, the majority part of uh, the deployment and the service configuration of this engine service uh, in all three clusters are the same, except for uh, some cluster specific configurations. In this example, they are the uh, replica count, image version, and the external IP configurations. Uh, although the uh, actual configuration for the real edge service might be much more complicated than this, but the idea is the same. For such kind of deployment and configuration pattern, in Kubernetes, we can use uh, tools like Helm and the Customize uh, to manage uh, the common and the cluster specific configuration parts. In this example, we use customize uh, 
to show how we uh, manage such configurations and how we structure our deploy directory for those configuration files. In this deploy directory, we have both the, uh, uh, the base directory for the, uh, uh, the common, the shared configuration parts, and we have the overlays directory for the cluster specific configurations. And in this example uh, here, we see in the base directory, uh, we have the deployment.yaml file and the service.yaml file uh, that define the common deployment and the service configuration for this sample engines application. Here we show an example of uh, what's in the, uh, the cluster specific overlay con configuration directory. Uh, here in the customization.yaml file, uh, we point to the base directory for the common shared configuration part and uh, also the apply the, uh, the patches for the cluster specific uh, configurations. In this example, we apply the replica and image uh, patch to the uh, NDNC deployment configuration and apply the external IP patch to the service engine uh, configuration. We use Argo CD uh, uh, with App of Apps style to manage those configurations and to uh, deploy those configurations to the corresponding edge cluster. So we generated the parent application for the uh, for the edge service, and the, the parent application will will, will then ge generate the child application for each cluster uh, to be deployed. The child application inside the child application, uh, we will specify uh, the corresponding overlay cluster directory as the uh, uh, the application path, and uh, we specify the destination uh, for the corresponding edge cluster. And the central Argo CD controller will continue to process those child applications, and in this example, using custom to generate the Kubernetes manifest by reading uh, the configuration from the specified path from the Git repository. And then we'll uh, sync and deploy the generated Kubernetes manifest to the corresponding edge clusters. Let's do a live demo to, to show how we use Argo CD with such app of apps style uh, to deploy an edge service. The configuration we are using in this demo uh, has already been uploaded to the GitHub and the, the link is attached here. Please feel free to check it out. In this demo, we will uh, deploy the sample, the example engines application to the three edge clusters as shown in this diagram. Let's get started with the demo. This is the GitHub repository uh, for this demo. And uh, in this GitHub repository, we have the deploy directory, and uh, then we have the base and overlays directory where the common configurations for the deployment and the service are uh, stored in this base directory. And uh, the, in the overlays directory, we have the cluster specific configurations. For the demo purpose, uh, I just uh, add the cluster specific uh, service external IP here. And, uh, also, in the customization.yaml file, that first point to the base directory for the common uh, shared configurations and then apply this service uh, patch. In addition to the base and overlays directory, there's also the applications.yaml file. So this is what the parent application will use to generate uh, the child applications. In this example, we're going to generate the three child applications for the three clusters. And for the uh, child application for cluster one, we can say we specify the, uh, the configuration path as the uh, corresponding cluster one overlay directory. The same for cluster two and cluster three. Okay, let's go to Argo CD to create this application. Let's first create this uh, engine uh, application by creating this uh, parent application here. For the parent application, we call it a demo uh, parent, and uh, we use the uh, kubecon demo project that I uh, have already created. 
And we set the repository as this GitHub repository that we just saw. And we set the path as the deploy directory. So this is the path uh, that points to this application for YAML file. So this is how this parent application is applications.yaml and use it to generate a cloud apps. The destination here is the uh, uh, go. the destination here is actually the uh, the Kubernetes uh, cluster and namespace where we're going to uh, create this parent application. So that's in the data center. Create the, create this parent application. Now in the parent application, we already uh, uses uh, use the configuration we we we. Uh, just did for this parent application to see uh, the three uh, child application in the Git repository. And we do a sync to create this three child application. We are created. We go back here. Now, now we are at the stage those uh, the parent application is created and those three child applications are also created, but they are currently in the out of sync state. So this is when we have created those uh, Argo CD applications, the parent app and the three child app, but we haven't synced to generate the Kubernetes manifest and deploy them to the edge cluster yet. We can sync and deploy by click on this sync apps. And we sync those three out of sync child applications. This may take uh, a minute for the three applications to be synced, uh, 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 to be synced and deployed. Now they are all synced. Let's go inside uh, this demo cluster one uh, application. We can see it create the service and the, the uh, deployment for this Nginx uh, example app. In the service, uh, the light manifest, we can see the uh, cluster specific IP that we have already configured that we have configured in the Git repository. And we can verify this is working by access this uh, IP and we see it's working because we're able to, uh, to see this Nginx uh, page. And also on Argo CD, we can go to the pod to, to see the logs. If we do a refresh here, we should be able to see the corresponding access log for, uh, from my browser. And if I do another refresh, another two refresh, we can see two more accesses here. It's pretty useful. Okay, this concludes our uh, demo part. Now we have talked a lot about TikTok's edge infrastructure, our deployment architecture, and how we use Argo CD uh, to manage our edge uh, applications and the deployment. Now, let me uh, talk a little bit about the challenge that we have in, uh, so far using Argo CD in this way. So first of all is for the performance. Now, because we are having, uh, so we get over uh, 3000 applications uh, managed in the central Argo CD controller, we do start to see uh, the speed to list all of those applications becomes slower, especially for our developers who who have permission to see all of those 3000 applications. So luckily uh, for us, like most of our developers, uh, they only have permission to see their own applications, which are usually like 200, 300. So this is not that bad for them. But we do see uh, the, uh, the performance degrade when we uh, having more and more applications in Argo CD. Second is for uh, scalability. We see some imbalanced uh, application handling uh, for different edge clusters. So because when we have more and more uh, applications managed in the central Argo CD controller, then we start to, uh, to roll out more and more controller instance uh, to scale the ability to handle those uh, applications. But uh, currently Argo CD will shard the applications to the uh, to the controller instance by the destination cluster, which means uh, all the applications uh, for one uh, destination edge cluster they will all be uh, assigned to the same controller instance, 
as a result, because we have uh, some of our edge clusters are big and some are small. So for the big edge clusters, when we deploy more applications to those big edge clusters, and then there will be more uh, corresponding Kubernetes resource to be handled for that big edge cluster. However, all those applications and Kubernetes resource can only be handled by a single uh, Argo CD controller instance. So therefore, uh, we can see some controller instance might be, uh, be, be idle, but some controller instance might be busy. And uh, we can not easily resolve this problem by simply adding more controller instance. Next is for uh, functionality. So we'd like to have uh, support from the Argo community for the project level support because currently we use Argo CD project uh, uh, for the multi-tenant support uh, to support different teams and developers uh, in, in our company. So one issue with the, uh, uh, the current support uh, for the project is that the application name in different projects could conflict. For example, uh, if we have the Nginx application uh, in project one and another application named Nginx in project two, so they can have conflict with each other. In addition to that, uh, to see a better project level view and management to be supported as well. For example, for the management of the, uh, the, uh, the project level uh, applications, Kubernetes resources, repository, et cetera. Last but not least, uh, for the uh, developer of the reality. We find uh, currently uh, we obviously lack the uh, internal observability uh, for tracing, such as the uh, the open tracing uh, capability. Because uh, we're pretty heavy Argo CD user, so sometimes we need to uh, go inside the Argo CD source code to, to do some troubleshooting. But now uh, we, we don't have a very easy way to trace and track a, a single request uh, in the source code because we don't have the, uh, uh, the open tracing uh, enabled in Argo CD yet. Yeah. Yep. So those are uh, the challenges that we have seen so far. Uh, in spite of that, we still think Argo CD is pretty helpful, useful, and reliable to, uh, for our edge scenario use case. And uh, we, we, we do recommend it, uh, Argo CD if you have a similar uh, use case and scenario. Next, uh, uh, Jesse from the Argo CD side uh, will talk uh, will talk more about uh, the suggestions of using Argo CD uh, in such edge scenario, as well as uh, how those challenges could be addressed. Thank you, Jinkun. So now we'll discuss two different edge deployment models, which we call a centralized push model and a distributed pull model, and then we'll discuss some of the trade-offs between the two. So the first model, the centralized push, is one which you should already be familiar with because it's the one that Jinkun had just described. And with this approach, you have a centralized instance of Argo CD, which is connecting to and managing your edge clusters. And this Argo CD instance is rendering the manifest from Git and pushing or kubectl applying those manifests to the edge clusters. And the biggest advantage of this model is that you're able to use Argo CD as is intended as a single pane of glass. And so from this control plane, you're able to view and manage your applications in any cluster. And second, it's easiest to manage since you only need to maintain that single Argo CD instance. And because this instance is running inside your data center, you can automate and create integrations against it. On the other hand, a single large Argo CD instance will require some performance tuning and sharding as your cluster fleet grows. And you may encounter some of the same scaling issues that TikTok experienced. Uh, secondly, because Argo CD needs to connect to these clusters, the Kubernetes API servers of these edge clusters do need to be made available uh, to Argo CD. And finally, because this is a centralized model, Argo CD does become this, a single point of failure. The next model is a distributed pull model. And with this approach, instead of running Argo CD centrally, you instead run an instance of Argo CD in every edge cluster. 
And these instances would be configured to pull from a Git repository and auto sync changes from a directory specific to that cluster. The biggest advantage of a distributed model is that scalability is no longer a concern. Since each cluster has its own application controller, the work is distributed evenly uh, amongst the edge clusters. Second, with this technique, you can choose to actually close off Kubernetes API server access to these edge clusters and increase security since you no longer need a central Argo CD instance to connect to them directly. The biggest disadvantage with this approach is that since Argo CD is no longer running centrally, you lose out on a lot of its features. So there's no longer a central control plane to view and manage your applications. Instead, anytime you want to want visibility into your applications, you would have to access the remote Argo CD instance. You're also less flexible in how you can control your deployments. So because this technique relies solely on auto syncing paths inside Git to create and update applications, you won't be able to decide to perform manual syncs. Finally, with this approach, you do need to make your Git repository um, available to the edge clusters, which may or may not be a problem for your environment. So next, I'd like to describe some specific features of Argo CD, which uh, would be useful for managing edge clusters. And the first is Argo CD core. So if you do decide to go with a distributed pull model uh, and run Argo CD on every edge cluster, you should know about this installation mode. Essentially, you can decide to only install the core components, namely the controller, the repo server, and Redis. And Argo CD would act more like a basic bare bones GitOps operator um, and this is a good option if you never had the need for end users to uh, access an Argo CD UI for these edge clusters. But one nice thing about this feature is that you can still use the CLI and UI as long as you have Kubernetes access to the cluster. For example, you can run the, the admin dashboard command and then visit the UI through your local host. Second, a second feature which was useful for Edge is application sets. And this is a feature in Argo CD which allows you to automatically generate applications from things like paths inside a Git repository or clusters which get registered uh, to Argo CD or even some combination um, of the two. Um, and this is, was created as an alternative mechanism to the app of apps pattern. And this uh, technique works for both a centralized push or a distributed pull uh, model. So here's an example of an application set, which is using the cluster generator, um, which is would be useful for a centralized Argo CD model. And this cluster generator is creating a new application as soon as a cluster gets added to Argo CD. And the example we see here uh, this will create a Nginx application targeting that cluster as soon as that, uh, that cluster is added to Argo CD. The next example is using a Git generator. Um, and this generator will create application based on files or paths inside Git. Um, in the example we see here, this will iterate all subdirectories in the cluster-3 directory and then automatically create an application for that. So we've been working closely with the TikTok team on many of the issues they've encountered in their use case. And these were some of the many improvements which they've made as they scaled out their usage. And first, they've made many import, uh, performance and caching improvements on the API server. Um, second, with global edge clusters, the networks tend to be unreliable. And so uh, there have been many tuning options introduced to make this more robust. And in terms of future improvements, we're discussing ways where Argo CD applications can live in different namespaces. And so this would help with things like name collisions as well as improve the UI performance. 
If you do run a large number of application controller shards, we are introducing a utility that can help you automatically rebalance and reassign shards um, based on cluster size. And finally, other features which the TikTok team has been contributing to are open telemetry support, as well as the ability to exec into pods uh, through the Argo CD UI. So that wraps up our talk on how you can leverage Argo CD to manage your clusters on the edge. And if you have any questions, please connect with us over at the CNCF Slack. And thank you for watching.